in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Good morning and how are you, my dear students? I am teacher Ala, and together we are going to start a new math period on today, Sunday, April 26, 2020. Bring out your box and get ready with me. Our subject for today is about Venn diagram. Let's start with this introduction before we know what is the Venn diagram. We learned in the previous period how to organize data in a pictogram, bar charts, and Carroll diagrams. In this period, we will learn about a new type of charts called the Venn diagram. Venn diagram uses circles to help us to sort data into different groups. This is a simple Venn diagram. Let's study in details each part in the Venn diagram. If we have a group of objects and we want to sort them between two groups, A group and B group, it will be as the following. Any object that is only in the yellow part of circle A is an object that belongs to A only. And any object that is in the blue part of circle B is an object that belongs to B only. Now, any object that comes in this overlap between A and B means that this object is belong for both A and B circles. And any object that is out of both circles and their overlap this means that this object doesn't belong for any of the previous circles. Now, let's see how can we sort things using Venn diagram according to this example. As you can see, we have two circles. Circle A for food, circle B for plants. And the overlap between the two circles means both. So any object in this part of the Venn diagram is food only. Any object in this part of the Venn diagram is a plant only. And any object in this overlap is both plant and food. Let's see these objects together. If you look at the cheese, you can notice that the cheese is a food but not a plant. So it has to be in this part of the Venn diagram. Onion is both food and plant so it has to be in this part of the Venn diagram. Carrot also is a food and a plant so it has to be in this part of the Venn diagram. Meat or steak is a food but not a plant so it will be like the cheese in this part of this Venn diagram. This tree is a plant but not a food, so it will be in this part of the Venn diagram. Bread is a food but not a plant, so it will be in this part of the Venn diagram. Rose is a plant but not a food, so it will be in this part in the Venn diagram. Fish is a food but not a plant, so it has to be in this part. Broccoli is both food and the plant so it will be in between and daisy is only a plant so it will be in this part of the Venn diagram now let's try to sort these girls into groups using the Venn diagrams the first circle will be for the long hair the second circle will be for the orange hair and the overlap between them will be for both long and orange. Let's see together how we will organize these four pictures using the Venn diagram. So as we said before, circle A will be for the long hair. We have this girl has long hair. Circle B will be for the orange hair. This girl has an orange hair. And the overlap between A and B will be for both long and orange hair which is this girl now the last girl doesn't have any of the previous properties she doesn't have an orange hair 
She also doesn't have a long hair, so she is out of both circles. This is one more example about Venn diagram. The first circle will be for the box that has the yellow color. The second circle will be for the box that are spotty and the overlap will be for both yellow and spotty. Let's sort them together. The first bug is yellow and spotty, so it's here. The second bug is only yellow, so it has to be here. Third bug, same like the first bug, yellow and spotty, it will be here. Fourth bug, only spotty, it has to be here. Fifth bug, same like the first and the third bug, spotty and yellow, it will be here. Sixth one, same like the fourth one, spotty only, so it will be here. Seventh one, only yellow, it will be here. And the last one is a spotty only, so it has to be here. Here is the way about how we sort the bugs according to their properties. As you can see, the bugs that only yellow, bugs that are yellow and spotty, and bugs that are only spotty. In the next period, we will have a discussion about pages from 147 to 149 in the textbook. For now, this is the end of our math period for today. Your homework will be page 115 in the workbook. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and waiting for you to share your answers with me. See you next time and goodbye.